Good to have you with me. We are back once again with another preview ahead of UEFA Euro 2024 preview in all the nations. And this time we have one that borders the host and speaks the same language, albeit with a kind of different twang. And that's Austria, ladies and gentlemen. Austria were a strong contender at FIFA World Cups in the early days. They finished fourth in the 1938 World Cup and then third in the 1954 World Cup. Following that though, they tailed into obscurity and failed to qualify for another tournament until 1998. On the Euros front though, Austria have been far worse. They failed to qualify for a tournament until 2008. And that was only because they were hosting the thing. They did though qualify themselves for 2016 and 2020, where they made it through the group in that one before losing to Italy on penalties. Of course, who went on to win the tournament. In terms of how they qualified, they were actually really, really successful. They were grouped alongside the likes of Belgium and Sweden, but made actually very light work of it. They matched Belgium stroke for stroke the whole way through and finished well clear of Sweden in third place. They had a vast array of goal scorers in their camp, with the best one being Marcel Sabitza, who scored four. And their last three friendlies have been impressive to say the least. They beat Germany 1-0, they beat Slovakia 2-0, and they beat Turkey, who are also at this tournament, 6-1. Their coach is former Man United man Ralph Rangnick. He signed a deal for two years in 2022 to take him to the end of Euro 2024. He obviously has overseen this comfortable qualification, which he should be really, really proud of. He's known mostly for his spells as director of football within the Red Bull group, overseeing the development on the football inside. He was aiming to take over a similar role at Man United before being pushed into becoming the interim manager. And then he was supposed to step back once Eric Ten Hag arrived. But when he arrived, it was very clear that Rangnick had to go. In terms of their players to watch, the first to take a look at would be their captain, David Alaba. He is now 31 years old and has over 100 caps for his national team. He's of course incredibly versatile, he can play in defence or he can play in midfield and he's won countless honours with both Bayern Munich and now with Real Madrid. However, despite his best efforts, Alaba will not be in the team. For Austria this summer, he has not managed to get fit in time but he will still be with the team inside the camp as a non-playing captain. In lieu of no Alaba though potentially their next star man to look at is that man Marcel Sabitzer. He will become their natural leader by example given his 78 caps and vast experience mostly in the Bundesliga where he's been incredibly successful. The one to watch for me though will be Christoph Baumgartner. He's a goal scoring attacking midfielder and if he's allowed to have the shackles off him and race into the box he could really fire up at this tournament. In terms of other observations in regards to this squad, of course many of these players play in the Bundesliga, they play in Germany where the tournament is being held and that could be a major advantage. In terms of how they line up, it's really, really difficult to tell. They are possibly the most fluid team in regards to systems heading into this tournament. 4-4-2, 4-3-3 and 3-5-2 have all been seen on the regular. In terms of how I see it though, the likelihood is that Sabitza and Lima are going to be the men on the wings and 35-year-old Arnautovic could be the man to lead the line for Austria. In terms of what they hope will happen, they will hope that their form continues and thus gets them through the group by hook or by crook. And then in the knockout rounds, it's hard to predict, isn't it? They could make it a bit further with penalties and the like, and that is what they will be pinning their hopes on. What will happen though is for me, I think they're going to finish in third position and get through because I think they're going to beat Poland in the groups. In the last 16 though, I think they're going to come up against England who will undoubtedly send them packing. And their odds for the tournament are 80 to 1, slightly better than Poland, but still a way off the rest of the pack. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about Austria and about this group as a whole before we get to France. And I will see you same time, same place very soon.